more than 200 protester tents outside St Paul's and zombie craze hits Britain. Hi, I'm Rachel Downey. We've just two months and one day to go until Christmas, but today's news couldn't be further from festive. Hot on the hills of Dale Farm, more protesting madness as 200 protester tents outside St Paul's look poised to be there until Christmas at least. A week on from the start of the occupation, the consensus among anti-government protesters is that the steadily growing encampment skirting the London landmark has been established for the long haul. The landmark cathedral is losing £20,000 a day when closed. Loss of its renowned Christmas services and carol concerts would come as a great disappointment to many. The mood of the protesters seems to be a unanimous fight against the global economic crisis and the government behind it. And in other news, people of all ages covered themselves in fake blood and caught paint as they took part in the Beach of the Dead Brighton Zombie Walk. The first event which took place in 2007 attracted just 40 people, but this year's event was much more popular, drawing in thousands of participants. In America and Canada, there are massive zombie walks that attract 20,000 plus people. We are new to this over here. In homage to the 1960s George Romero film Night of the Living Dead, this year's Brighton event picked up popularity after it was promoted through social networking sites, Facebook and Twitter. The procession started at 3pm on Saturday next to Royal Pavilion at Victoria Gardens before heading along the seafront and finishing on Madeira Drive. Thanks for joining me. Tomorrow, Lady Gaga goes Shrek as new film Puss in Boots comes to cinema screen. See it here first.